difficult time for our entire family, especially my dad. Now at six, explosive fallout from that passenger dragged off a United Airlines flight. We hear from his daughter on the same day Chicago aldermen go on the attack. Uh, it is, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, it'd be a lot easier to go through this if they got a yes or no answer. Yes. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. United Airlines and Chicago Aviation Department officials faced a tough grilling at City Hall. That came just a couple hours after we learned the passengers suffered far more serious injuries than just a bloody nose. Our coverage begins with Vince Gerasoli. Millions are haunted by the sight of a bloodied passenger dragged from a United flight at O'Hare, including Crystal Dow Pepper. We were horrified and shocked and sickened to learn what had happened to him. The Barrington woman is one of his five children. After declining to give up his seat, 69-year-old Dr. David Dow suffered a concussion, a broken nose, and lost his two front teeth. We learned Dow only left the hospital yesterday at a press conference announcing an expected lawsuit. It has been a very difficult time for our entire family, especially my dad. Fellow passengers captured the moments when Dow refused to deplane and moments later when the United crew summoned Chicago Department of Aviation officers to get him off the flight. Three have since been placed on leave. Were these three officers, these stormtroopers for a moment? Doing the right thing? No, not at all. The Chicago Department of Aviation officers are not United employees. So what is United's responsibility for their actions? Real simple. The, the airplane is under the control of the pilot. Should this forceful, violent exercise of police power have been allowed once it was viewed and seen by the flight crew to continue? No. Does the city of Chicago bear any responsibility for the officer's actions? Yes, they are employees of the city of Chicago. In response, United Airlines issued its third in a series of apologies, saying this horrible situation has provided a harsh learning experience, adding, we're going to fix what's broken so this never happens again. What happened to my dad should have never happened to any human being, regardless of the circumstance. Dr. Dow was released from the hospital yesterday. Attorneys have asked both the city and United to preserve evidence in that case, and a hearing is scheduled for Monday. Also, attorneys say that Dr. Dow fled Vietnam by boat in 1975, mm. and he says that this instance was much more terrifying. Wow. I was saying a lot. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Vince.